Well, good morning, everyone. Thomas Montgomery here. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning, May 4th, 2022. We will not have training tomorrow due to travel schedules. But today we're going to, and I should say, we get together with our distribution partners most weekday mornings. Travel's usually the, the barrier that are a holiday. But we get together to talk about strategies, tips, techniques to problem solve and uh, to, to support. So what we're going to do today is we're going to pivot between two sites, fourweekfunding.com and fourweekfunding.org, and make sure that we're all clear of the difference between the two. So on fourweekfunding.com, this is a site that Scott Stroud, our chief marketing officer, created. And this is the portal for bringing in new white label partners. So if you're interested in being a regional vice president, there's no cost to be one. Scott will create a version of this page unique to you. And then this is where you would drive people in that are gonna be white label partners on your team. You would earn an override of two and a half points of the capital raise of all of their clients. Also, frankly, if you're just not a white label partner and you wanna become one, this is where you would come fourweekfunding.com. So we have the white label partner role in contrast to the referral partner. And so it's important to understand those two different tracks. If you're a referral part, well, to become a referral partner, you go to fourweekfunding.org, scroll down to the bottom, put this information in, click the, the top button there, click blue, it'll walk you through a couple steps. It will set you up automatically as a referral partner. There's no cost to be a referral partner. There's no cost to enroll as a white label partner either, by the way. But as a referral partner, all that you do is just drive people to your landing page. So you'll get a free link that'll look just like this, uh, fourweekfunding.org, but it'll be a unique URL. It'll have this information. And everyone that comes to your site and enrolls will, in fact, be credited to you. And referral partners just make a real simple 5% of the client's capital raise. So let's just use round numbers. Client raises $100,000, you make five grand. Could be more, could be less, but it's five points. The difference as a white label partner is you get to pick the contractual terms that your clients are agreeing to. Therefore, you would be able to earn the $2,500 deposit from each client that's collected from them after their first capital raise. And you also get to set the performance fee. Many of you are setting your performance fee around 15%. Few of you are doing around 20%. It's up to you. But it's important to understand and I guess you could wear both hats, but, but that may be confusing. So if you want to be a referral partner, you want to be paid the five points and have no client involvement, no worries, just drive people to your page that'll look just like this and get paid. That's what you do as a referral partner. White label partners are different. White label partners are actually going through and doing the mentoring. So we had a training yesterday where we went through in quite a bit of detail, the syllabus. In other words, the course outline for the four weeks. If you're the white label partner and you're bringing them in directly as a white label client, then you would be doing that mentoring. Now there's a hybrid approach we'll get to in just a second, but let's just make sure we're on the same page. If you want to be a referral partner, you pay nothing, you get a free landing page, you come over here, you fill this out, uh, click the yes, go through the steps, it, you'll get emailed a link, you give that link to other people, when they come through, you get credit, you get paid. White label partners, you would come here to fourweekfunding.com, you get set up with us, but then these clients are actually signing a contract with your entity, because that's what white label means, right? White label means you're going out to the marketplace as you, not as us. So you maintain your branding, and that also gives you tremendous control. So whatever is in the client agreement is what you want to have in the client agreement. Now, we provide you a template and all that, you know, to reinvent the wheel, but you're, you're in control, 
And if you're a white label partner in the pure sense, what you're doing is actually working with the client, doing the mentoring, like we went into detail yesterday. So those are the two distribution partner models. The referral partner, free, do it here. White label partner again, there's no cost to enroll as a white label partner, and you do it here. Now let's go to the hybrid, because I think a lot of you are going to be most interested in the hybrid. So that means you're doing both concurrently in this way. And it's not confusing if you hear me out, but if you don't hear me out, it may, may be confusing. So let's say that you want the control of the client pricing and control the clients. You want, you want more control, more power. So you, you, you want the white label partner role, but you want the simplicity of not having to do the mentoring with the clients, not being bogged down, because that can take a lot of time, right? If, if you generated, let's say 30 clients this month in the month of May, and now you have to meet with them every week, that can take up a lot of time. So if that's not something you want to do, you can take the best of both worlds in the hybrid format. So let's go through how that works. So you'd still want to come over here and get signed up as a white label partner. You, you need to establish that if you want to do the hybrid. And then, of course, you also need to be a referral partner because you're, you're playing off the strengths of both. So then what would happen? So uh, we'll pick um, we'll pick Denise. She's on the phone and she's one of our top producers. So Denise has a prospect and she's doing the hybrid approach. Where is Denise going to feed them in? She's going to feed them in, technically not on fourweekfunding.org, but her unique link that, that looks just like this. So that way, Denise can tell the client, hey, we can help you get prepared for a capital raise and then help you get funding. And it doesn't cost you anything. It's 100% grant subsidized to go through the four-week sequence to help build your financial literacy, to build your lender compliant loan package so we can make sure that you're credible enough for funding. Let's go ahead and get started. So that, that's a strong pitch. So Denise then would drive it through the hybrid model, talking hybrid here, she would drive people to her page that would look just like this. So now that client is now signed up in the 100% grant subsidized four-week program. Great. Our internal staff then would be doing the mentoring over the four weeks. And we went into a lot of detail on that yesterday. So you, you may wanna go back and listen to yesterday's training if you didn't attend or didn't hear it afterwards. So during that four week process, we're helping the client build their business plan and, and balance sheet and income statement, personal financial statement. We're helping them build their business credit. We're getting them at least $10,000 under their EIN. And that, that's a guarantee during that 28 day process. And again, it doesn't cost them anything. It's 100% grant subsidized. So that allows Denise as a white label partner in the hybrid role to bring a whole lot of people in. Okay, so that, that is the front end of the hybrid approach. As we talked briefly about yesterday, now Denise in this example, you're talking about the hybrid model, she is a white label partner. So what she can do is, is monitor it at whatever point she wants during that four week process that the client's going through, she can reach out to them and, and do something like this. We'll, we'll, we'll do a script and we did a script yesterday and a number of you loved it. So we'll, we'll pick Hannah. So let's say Hannah is the client, Denise is the white label partner and, she, and Denise is implementing the hybrid approach. So Denise has referred Hannah to her landing page, looks just like this. Hannah's completed it, Hannah's engaged. Now, what can happen is that Denise can reach out to Hannah and say, hey, Hannah, thanks again for enrolling in the free four-week funding program. Uh, how's it going? Great, great, great. Now, I, I don't know if you knew or not, Hannah, but if you would like, we could go ahead and get your first tranche of financing. It's called FTF, first round of funding right now, even before you're done with the 28-day process. Is that something that you'd like to consider? And most likely, Hannah would say, well, heck yeah, yeah. If I can get some funding now while I'm going through the process, that would be great. I'd love that. That's most likely what Hannah would say. So Denise then would, as a white label partner, using the hybrid approach that we're discussing, then 
Denise would go ahead and send Hannah her access to capital agreement. We help all of our white label partners develop that. We provide a template. And as I mentioned, Denise, as a white label partner, controls the terms and pricing of that. So Denise sends over to Hannah her white label access to capital agreement. She might send it to her via Adobe, DocuSign. She might have terms and conditions on her website. She, she might just send her the form and say, fill it out and scan it back. However, Denise wants to get it to Hannah. Hannah fills it out. It comes back to either Denise or, or to us, depending upon uh, how the process worked. But then what happens, and let me restate, the contract from Hannah would go back to Denise. And then Denise, the white label partner using the hybrid approach, would submit Hannah now as a white label submission. And that is done on the white label page, which we've talked about before. So that comes into us. So now Hannah's still progressing. Hannah's happy. She's going through the four week program. She's paid nothing. And now she's decided to go ahead and move forward with funding even sooner than the end of the 28 days. Denise has enrolled her using her white label access to capital agreement. Then Denise submitted her on the white label submission form. And I'll go ahead and just show you where that is because I want to make sure we're covering every step here. So on IIMFL.org, the white label page, Denise is, once Denise has Hannah under contract beneath the YouTube videos, beneath the YouTube videos, Denise is going to submit Hannah right here on this form. But Denise wouldn't do that until she has Hannah under contract, because now we're going to go get Hannah funding. Even though she's still going through the 28-day process, we're going to go get Hannah funding right now. And for Denise to be paid off of it, Denise needs to make sure she has an agreement with Hannah. Hannah's wonderful. Hannah wouldn't stiff Denise in real life. But if we went and got Hannah, let's say $50,000 of first tranche financing, and Denise hadn't actually, and here's where the agreement template is, if Denise didn't actually have Hannah under contract, then Hannah could say, well, hey, thanks for the 50000 and not owe a performance fee to Denise. So Denise, the white label partner using the hybrid approach in summary, would drive her prospects to her landing page that looks just like this. In this case, the example is Hannah. Hannah signs up here. We're working with Hannah through the four-week process. At some point during that, at any point during that, Denise follows up and says, hey, how's it going, Hannah? Would you like your first tranche of financing now? Hannah says, heck yeah. So then what happens is Denise sends Hannah the access to capital agreement, we call the white label version. Hannah signs it. Then Hannah, uh, then I'm sorry, then Denise, the white label partner in the hybrid model here, submits Hannah's information. We send the funding app to Hannah via Adobe. We copy Denise, the white label partner. So Denise knows that the application has been sent out. The funding app, simple one page. Hannah completes it, comes back to us. Again, Denise is copied on that. So Denise, the white label partner, knows that Hannah has completed it. And within 24 hours, we're typically able to get that client three to seven funding offers. We have um, a white label partner, Paul, that did that just yesterday and his client he submitted we, we've got four offers actually this morning and it in you know it's not huge but it's between ten and twenty thousand dollars well that's not bad right T ten to twenty thousand dollars of first tranche financing for Paul's client to give him some working capital is is a good start so why would so, so that that's the process from the hybrid approach you would sign up both as a referral partner free Sign up as a white label partner. Again, no cost to enroll. Drive your prospects here. They sign up. We're handling the implementation at any point during that four week process. Then you're helping them with the white label version of the access to capital agreement. You get them signed, you submit them here. Now they have funding even beforehand. So financially, why would Denise want to do that? Well, Denise now, 
Denise has several, Denise, the white label partner in this white, in this hybrid approach has several benefits to this approach. Number one, it's real easy for Denise. Now, Denise is sharp in real life, but the theoretical Denise, maybe Denise doesn't like to sell things or she doesn't like to be told no, or she doesn't, she doesn't just want to do that type of thing. All Denise needs to do is create community awareness and drive people to her landing page. So there, the client, the, the prospect becomes a client, they're engaged, they're seeing value. And then all Denise, the white label partner in this hybrid approach, is doing is just following up because she's a white label partner and saying, hey, Hannah, how's it going? Would you like some interim funding, first tranche financing now while you're still going through the process? Nine times out of 10, Hannah's going to say, heck yeah. And now, so, so the point is Denise has an easier way to bring clients into the system. She'll have more clients. And then Denise is going to be paid the $2,500 deposit after the client's first tranche of financing. And secondly, she's going to be paid a performance fee. You might say, well, how much is a performance fee? I don't know. You'd have to ask Denise, right? Because each white label partner controls the terms we provide the template to use. Normally, it's, it's around 15%. So in that case, we'll just use Paul as a real example. Paul's client it was more than 10,000, but I'll do simple math. So Paul would have made full or will make $4,000 off that client this morning, 2,500 of the deposit, 1,500, 15% of 10,000. It was actually more than that, but we're just using round numbers. So bam, Paul made $4,000 as a hybrid model using this. It's great. It's great. So what I want to do is dig in and see what questions, comments, concerns. I want to make sure you all understand the hybrid model. I think it's the best case scenario. Now, if you don't want to do the hybrid model, you can become a white label partner here, right? You can use the agreement here and take them directly into the, your, access, your white label access to capital. That's okay if you want to do that. But what we found, and it's kind of human psychology, is if you bring them first into the free offering and they're starting to see value, that they're seeing their business plan come together, that they're seeing all of this materialize, they're even more likely to sign up for your access to capital, which is the next step. And your pitch there is so simple. You really don't have to explain a whole lot. They see what's going on with the four week curriculum. Now all you're just saying is, hey, Hannah, would you like to get some funding while you're going through that? And nine times out of 10, the client's going to say, heck yeah, if I can get some funding offers now, let's do it. So who has questions, comments, concerns on the hybrid model? All right. So Jeremy asked if the free small business funding proposal is also considered. Well, I'm not going to read that question uh, entirely because I think it might confuse us. So what Jeremy's picking up on, which is accurate, is that each time, and, and Jeremy is one of our white label partners, but each time one of you as a white label partner submits a client here, our next step is to send them a funding proposal via Adobe. You're copied on it. And, and it's sent in a white label version, so it's not marketing us. They fill it out. It gives them daily reminders. If they don't fill it out, it'll give you a daily reminder that they haven't filled it out. But once they fill it out, then you'll get a, a completed data set, and it comes back to us. We will, within 24 hours, get funding offers put together for that client for the first tranche finance. And again, the Paul example is a real one from, from just this morning. Paul submitted in his client, Paul's a white label partner, and Paul client received, again, I think it was four different lenders made cash funding offers right now. So would Paul's client like to get some money right now while they're still going through the process? Of course. Do they have to do that? Let, let, let's let's play the, the the opposite. So let's say that Den we'll use the same players. So Denise is a white label partner. She's using the hybrid approach. So she submitted the client through this process. Hannah is the client, the example client. Hannah's going through the four weeks. She's feeling good. She's feeling happy. And, and Denise doesn't have to put any time or effort into it. Denise, as a white label partner, makes that call and says, Hannah, 
would you like to get some some funding offers now first tranche financing and and it's possible that hannah could say no no i i, I don't really want any funding so is it possible that hannah could say that yeah and, and maybe about one out of 10 or one out of 20 of the times that they'll say that but that's very rare because the whole point is they're going through the four-week curriculum to get prepared for funding they're making progress and you're just offering them icing on the cake. Hey, instead of waiting, let's go ahead and get your first tranche now. So your close rate, and, and this is what it's all about. We still need leads and we've had different trainings on leads, but your close rate should be remarkably high because number one, this value proposition is strong and they pay nothing. And if, again, if you were on yesterday's training where we went through the curriculum, the syllabus, you can see it's, it's very strong. And then your, your pitch as a white label partner to move them into the white label access to capital is just so simple. It's just, hey, would you like to, to get some funding offers now while you're going through the process? All right, Magna says the hybrid model is a brilliant approach. Well, thank you. Timothy is struggling a little bit with the steps. Okay, so Timothy, if you wanted to do this, I'm not pushing you, Timothy, or anyone else, but if you wanted to do the hybrid model, you need to do two things. You need to go to fourweekfunding.com, get plugged in as a white label partner. Simple to do. Second thing, Timothy, you need to do is go to fourweekfunding.org, get plugged in as a referral partner, because the hybrid model is piggybacking off the strengths of both. So you can bring clients in easily for free, and then you can convert them over to your white label access to capital at any point during the 28 days. So those are your action steps. Timothy wanted, Timothy holds me accountable on these uh, Zoom. He, he wants action steps. So uh, get signed up as a white label partner, easy. Get signed up as a referral partner, easy. You'll get your landing page for free, your link. And then Timothy, you, you gotta create community awareness. I mean, that, that's the value you bring to the table. And, and we've shown you where you can get leads and there's free leads and all that. But, but regardless of where the leads come from, it's by driving people to your unique landing page that everything will fall in place. If you don't do that, then you won't have people to convert over as a white label partner. And if you do it this way, your conversion rates should be remarkably high. Okay, let's see here what the next question or comment is. Tonica is asking about funding types, and, and she's right that, that there's many different type sources of funding. Some look at credit, some don't. Some look at cash flow, some don't. Some look at assets, some don't. Some look at time and business, some don't. Some are under the social security number, some are under the EIN. And, and, and so there's not a simple answer, right? There, there's many different sources of funding, and that's why the one-page funding proposal that we send out it's simple to fill out. It's, it's fairly painless. It, it'll take them probably five to seven minutes to, to fill it out. And then we'll see what offers uh, they qualify for. Thank you, Connie, for your question. Ah, Sharon makes a great point, and I, I didn't hit on it, and, and I should have. So let's go back to our example, because Sharon's asking about her involvement as a white label partner with the funding options. So let's go back to our example. We got Denise, who's the white label partner using the hybrid approach. Hannah is our client. So once Denise, the white label partner using the hybrid approach has submitted Hannah in here, and then as a white label partner, she offered to help her get funding even while going through the 28 day process. Hannah signed with Denise. Denise, the white label partner, submitted Hannah here. Funding offer, uh, app went out. And then when the offer, and this is Sharon's question, when the offers are extended, we communicate those offers to the white label partner. So in this case, Denise, and that, that was Sharon's question. So we will, let, we have a funding coordinator here in our office. Our funding coordinator will reach out to, to you as the white label partner just like she'll be doing with Paul this morning and saying, well, Paul, uh, hey, as a white label partner, your client XYZ, 
just received uh, funding offers from four different sources. Here's the breakdown of what those are. And we ask you, Paul, or in this case, Denise, the white label partner, work with your client to accept, frankly, all of them. There's no reason not to accept all of them. They can stack offers. Now they could just accept one, they could accept two or, or all of them, but, but many of you will help your clients accept all. And this real example from this morning, Madison, the funding coordinator, will be calling Paul, the white label partner, and encouraging him to accept all four offers. So that was Sharon's question, which I hadn't described earlier. How does the communication flow occur? So if, if it's a white label partner that you submitted, I'm sorry, if you're a white label partner and you submitted the client here, then our communication on the funding is with you and you with the client. And that's another important difference. So if all you want to be is a referral partner and not really talk to the clients, not work with the clients, then you're going to be happy here. Don't do the hybrid approach. But if you want to have control over clients' terms, clients' pricing, be more involved, kind of control the client relationship, then the hybrid approach would work really well. Great question. Didn't mean to skip that before. I just didn't go that deep into the process. So I'll summarize, but if there's any questions that any of you have, this is a great time to, to put it into the Q&A. So what we accomplished today is breaking down, number one, the difference between fourweekfunding.com and .org. .org is where a client would come into the four-week process and or someone would sign up as a referral partner. .com is where we get set up as a white label partner. You can do both. The, if you're going to do both, we would recommend having a consistent hybrid campaign. Where we see people often fail is they're trying to juggle different campaigns at once. We'll call it multitasking. And, and, and that can become overwhelming. So instead of multitasking, if you want to become a white label partner, which I'd encourage you to do, and as you make more, and you want to be a referral partner, which I'd encourage you to do, free and easy right here, do both of those but follow this hybrid campaign that we just went through because it, it'll be systematic. If you have to stop and think from each client, oh, did I submit them as a hybrid or, or not? What do I need to do next? That'll become confusing. And what most people do is when they become confused, they stop producing and we stop producing, you stop making money. So that would be bad. So instead, I'd recommend becoming a white label partner becoming a referral partner and use the hybrid approach that we described that will optimize your income, both in terms of money per client, and we're helping the client, that's the first and foremost goal, but, but you'll make more per client, but you'll help so many more clients. You know, many of you are white label partners and some of you are really, really good at what you do, but I don't know that you're gonna be able to generate the same volume just straight out as a white label partner as you could if you piggyback off this hybrid approach because offering people this free proposition, which is good, it's solid. We're using an award-winning curriculum. It, it was developed by the FDIC. It's promoted by the SBA. It is solid, solid, solid. So strongly recommend the hybrid approach. All right, Charles says he likes the hybrid role. It's a great option. Thank you for that, sir. Sharon asks, if the client accepts and stacks all offers, do you get funding off each? Yeah, you, you do. Yep, yep, yep. So as a white label partner, you will be paid a performance fee off of all the, the cash funding offers, whether it be one or more. And that'll be, the client will know that because it's part of your agreement with them. And once you have an agreement with them, then you submit them here and we go to funding. So yes, rather they get one funding offer, two, three, four, five, they stack them, they don't stack them, they get funding at different points in time. You as the white label partner are paid off of, of each. Uh, Konica asks about funding guarantees. And, and that's good because people want assurance that it's gonna work. So let's, we have, we have to answer that in a couple pieces. So from the free four-week funding, you can see that we guarantee at least $10,000. So that, that is, that's in the bank. That's for sure. Uh, 
And that's under their EIN, by the way, no personal credit, no use of personal guarantees. So that, that'll make it worth their while. That, that's the one of the important carrots to get them to enroll in the free four week funding. So is that a guarantee? She's asking, is there a guarantee? Yeah, it's guaranteed, it's in writing. Secondly, if you are a white label partner and then you bring them in through your agreement, then the 100,000 guarantee is referenced there. So you get them signed to your agreement. You just make changes to this with your contact information, anything you want to edit, and you submit them, them here, then they're guaranteed a minimum of 100,000 more. So those are the two guarantees and what triggers each, Conica. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Brett's talking about the affiliate links and, and he, he's got an appropriate point. So what will happen is let, let's say you wanna become a referral partner, you come over here, you fill this out, you click yes, you go through, the system will send you a referral partner link. But to no surprise, it, it's kind of gobbledygook, right? It's, it's, it's a number of characters, numbers and letters. It, it's not gonna be something easy to remember, for example. So at that point, what you could do is you could have a domain and then redirect that gobbledygook link to your domain, or, or I guess vice versa, have a domain. Well, let's say that you wanted fastfunding.org so, or .com. So you get fast funding, you forward your domain to the link that is provided through the system. And then I, you're, you're right, Brett, it's easier to go out and say people, tell people, hey, go to fastfunding.com and, and uh, give it a try. So it's fine for you to have a different domain and direct it, but you're, you're right, Brett, the system generated unique URLs will be a bit of gobbledygook. But the way around it is, I mean, you could send an email and you could create a link and you can say click here, but it has a hyperlink. So all they need to do is click on click here when technically the URL address that they're going to has a bunch more characters. So you could do that or you could have your own domain and forward it. Thank you. All right, well, I hope this was hope, uh, helpful, hopeful, hopeful that it was helpful. And we will not have training tomorrow. I'm gonna to be traveling in the morning. So we'll be back on Friday morning. And let us know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. We're here to help. Have a great day. Thanks, everyone.